Hey, that's mine! Hey, wait, wait, wait. You know, why don't you add this lemon juice into the milk? It will taste amazing. You want to try? Yes. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Why don't you squeeze this juice into the glass and start drinking it? So why don't you stir it? Do we have something to stir? Wait a minute. Ah! Good job. <laughs> what was that? Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Don't get upset. It was just a simple chemical reaction. A chemical reaction? You put chemical in my mouth? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry. Because, you know, we all consume chemicals every day. The food we eat, the air we breathe, and the water we drink are all chemicals. The milk that you had was a chemical. And when I added the lemon, it caused a chemical reaction which converted the milk into curds. There are different types of chemical reactions and please stop playing with fire, it's dangerous. Please stop playing with fire, it is dangerous. Ah, ah! What did he do? Oh my god, it's burning! Ah! No, what are you talking about? I won't to? hurt you, I won't hurt you. Ah, it's cool now. Oh my god. Okay, why do you think you got hurt? Because it was fire and fire is hot. You're right. When something burns, a lot of energy is given out. And that energy is given out in the form of light and heat. Hmm. But why do you think you felt better when you put your finger into the ice? Um, because it was cold. And why, why is ice cold? Um, oh, ouch. The ice feels cold because the ice is absorbing heat from your finger. There are few processes where a lot of heat is given out and it's called exothermic. There are a few processes where heat is absorbed. Such processes are called endothermic. Remember I told you about chemical reactions? Yeah! So every chemical reaction involves reactants and products. Mm -hmm. During a chemical reaction, reactants get converted into products and in the process, energy is either given out or absorbed. Oh. As you know, the food we eat is also a chemical. But why do we eat food? Mm, because it's tasty. Think scientifically. Mm, uh, because uh, it gives us uh, energy? You're right. The food we eat and the air we breathe are the reactants which undergo a reaction and gives out energy. And this energy we use for our daily activities. Uh, but, but I have a question. Yeah, yeah, uh, tell me. What are the products of this reaction? Hi, I'm Rohan. And I'm Vivi. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to Science Ashram and please do like us on our Facebook page.